Good afternoon. In this video, we're going to go through some more advanced offsets. So on here, I have a built tool in which the previous video, we talked about how to add a tool that you have from a CAD library. I have some offsets. The first one is going to be some Z offsets. This one is going to be some X and Y offsets. And then we're going to have some X, Y offsets that are a little bit more advanced. So we'll go from right to left on these cells. So we're going to start out with the orange cylinders. So we're going to create a new program called orange cylinders. Uh, and then we'll start creating our program from there. So we're going to go under select, create, and I'm going to go to Options Keyboard, and we're going to call this Orange Offset. Make sure that there's no spaces, so I do underscores. There we go, we're going to Edit. So the first thing I like to do is set up our frames. So I'm going to go New Instruction, Miscellaneous, and I'm going to go Remark. This is going to be Frames. Then let's actually set up the frames, Offset Frames, U-Frame Number 1, and then New Instruction, Offset frames, U tool, we're using tool number one. So suction number one. Then let's double check to make sure that we're actually in these frames. So we go menu, setup, frame, we go set IND, one, enter. And then let's go to the other, user frame. And right now we're in user frame number one. So set IND, one, enter. Okay, so we're now in user frame number one as well. So then I'm going to go back to the program. So I'm going to click edit and then we're going to set up our variables much like we did on the previous one. So I need to insert a bunch of lines. So we insert say 20 lines so I can have spaces. I don't have to worry about keep inserting things. So my new instruction, miscellaneous remark, and this is going to be our variables. So this is where we initialize the variables. And then we're going to have our home. So we'll probably have two variables like we had the last time. So I'm going to go miscellaneous, remark, and this is going to be my home position. And then we'll actually set our home. And we have our home. If we go under data and position registries, we have a couple position registries already set up. We have our home. We have the yellow bricks, we have the orange cylinders, and red cylinders start. So these are all the start points, so you don't have to figure out where the start points are for any of these items. So we're going to use point registry number one. So we'll go back in here, choice, point register, or position register, and we're going to use position register number one, which is our hold. Then we're going to actually go to our point, so I'm going to go to new instruction and we're going to go miscellaneous remark and then this is going to be the cylinder programs and then we're going to add that position register to it so we're going to go add move point and we're going to go joint movement to position register for the orange cylinder is number three so we're going to go in here we're going to go position register and the orange cylinder and we're going to go there as fine so we didn't even move the robot yet we got a bunch of different things in here so now what we're going to do is set up our variables which is going to be our offsets so the first variable i'm going to create is going to be my register so we're going to go register and we'll just call it register one and this is going to be my counter so register one is going to be equal to zero So we initialize variable register one, we set it equal to zero. Then we're also going to do, because we're doing an offset for these, we're going to also set up the position register modification as well. So new instruction, registers, and we're going to register equal to point register IJ, and we're going to use position register number since we have data here. Since we have the first four set up, we're going to use number five. So we're going to go here, we're going to use position register number five, and we're going to modify the Z coordinate of that number five. So Z coordinate is number three, because it's X is one, Y is two, and then Z is number three. 
and we're going to set that equal to zero right away. So now we're going down to orange cylinder. So let's move to that position. So I'm going to go shift, step, forward, and I'm going to go forward until I get to that top point. There we go. So now I'm at that point. Turn off step mode, and I'm also hold off shift. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set up all the repeats and also the count. So we want the count to go up to four. So after our cylinder point, we are now going to move to this position, and then we're going to work our way from there. Now because we have different heights here, it may be smart to actually make a safe position. So let's go in here, ECDM, insert. We're going to insert one line before here, and let's make a safe position here. So I'm going to go my coordinate system, turn on my tool mode, and then we bring my tool up so that we're maybe a negative 100 above our workpiece. So we're going to go actually joint mode down. So we're going to jog in joint mode down to this position. Okay, this is going to be our new position, and then we're going to use a linear motion down to it. So linear motion to our orange cylinder, and we'll say of 250 millimeters per second. Okay, so we're going to come from our home position down to 100 centimeters above our workpiece, then it's going to linear down to that top. Okay, so I'm going to go here, shift, step, forward, yes forward and then it's going linear down so that allows us actually to now bring it back up to that safe position and then we'll be able to move to the next position so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to create another movement a linear movement back up to our safe position so i'm going to go up to our safe position and then save that point so i'm going to go up my negative 100 now I don't technically have to do that because I already have that position saved. So I'm going to go add move point, linear space, and we're going to up to position one. And then we are going to go at 250 millimeters per second. So we have down to our safe position. Then from there, we're going to go down to our linear. So then we're going to now move our position registers, new miscellaneous remark and then we're going to change position numbers and here's where we're going to change all the position numbers so the first thing i'm going to change is the offset so i'm going to go new instruction registers so we're going to set equal to our position register ij and the first one we're going to do is we're going to do the z offset of position register number five and we're going to change the Z offset, which is number three, is equal to our position register, IJ, which is five, position number five, and then the Z coordinate, and then figure out what these cylinders are. So this is 30, this is 60, this is 120, and then this is 240. Now if we want to make this so it's constant where we don't have to change our numbers, we're just taking our previous number and we're multiplying it by two. Now if we're doing that, we're gonna to have to make some changes. So depending on how we do this, we're going to go add 30, or we can add a number two, or we can change this actual operation here to multiply. So here's multiply, and then we're gonna multiply it by a constant of two. So that means our first offset, actually, we're gonna to have to make this so that we're going to start at 30. So we're going to change our point register to 30. So we're going to go up here, change this to 30, so that we multiply 30 by 2 gives us 60. Then it sets it at that to 120 and then to 240 from there. So we're going to multiply that, and now we're going to do some other modifications. The next position register we need to change is the x coordinate. So the x plus is going this way, so we have to subtract it. So let's go here. We're going to go position register. We're going to set this equal to, so new instruction, and we're going to go to registers, and we're going to go subtract this time, so position register number five, and it, we're going to change the first one, which is the x coordinate in position number five, and then we're going to set that equal to our position register, ij number five, 
the x-coordinate of that, and we're going to subtract the distance here, which is 150. So we're going to go constant 150. There we go. Now because we're changing the y or the x coordinate here, we have to make sure that we're clearing x component as well. So I'm going to insert another line. It's so only to change my position register. So new instruction registers, and we're going to set it equal to position register number five. And we're going to set the x coordinate, which is number one, to zero. So we're setting this equal to 30 and then setting it equal to zero. And then we're going to change our cylinder offset based on those numbers. So we're going to go back negative 100. So it sets it to negative 100 and then it multiplies this number by two, okay, which makes it 60. And then that will be our next offset. So we're changing the position registers and then we're going to do our count. So we're going to do our count number here. So new instruction and register, just a simple add register of number one, simple register data and equal to register data number one plus one. And that's going to make sure we stop at that last cylinder and not keep going. Okay, so that's our how many cylinders we're counting. So now that we have our changing here, now let's do our decision. So we're going to new instruction and we're going to go if equal to, so if our data register number one equal to, so one, two, three, four is equal to four, then we're going to jump to label two. So label two is going to be our end label. So if it's not, then we're going to skip this line. We're going to skip this line and then we're going to go to jump label jump to label one so which will jump back to our point right here so I'm going to insert a couple lines here and then I'm going to call this label one so new instruction and we're going to say label one so that's our repeat label if it's not equal to four it's going to skip this and it's going to go to jump label one jumps up here and does all this changes it sees if it's four and if it is then we're going to jump below label two so our label two is going to be down below here so a new instruction and I'm going to go jump label two and that ends our program as of right now um, we do need to put our offsets onto our cylinder point and change our offsets to our cylinder point and we may have to modify this just a hair bit just to make sure it works okay so our position number one we're going to select offset point register and we're going to offset point register number five and then here we're going to offset position register five Before we run this, let's uh, actually set up position register number five. So when I go to data, position register number five is not set up. So all I have to do is just do a recording of it. So shift to record. So it records, and then I'm going to give it a name. So this is going to be my, I'll go orange offset. Enter, then turn off shift. Let's go to the actual position, and then let's make sure that everything is zero. So zero. Zero, 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 zero. Okay, so make sure everything is at zero before we actually run the item. So we go done. So now it's initialized. We're recorded. We're all at zeros. Our offsets are good. So let's go back to our program and let's see how it runs. So now we're ramping up. We're not going to be hitting our tool. And you'll notice that right now we're actually 30 millimeters above our actual workpiece because we started right here and we initialized the offset and starts the offset right away. So if we want to, we need to actually bring our point here down 30 millimeters. So our starting position needs to start actually on the ground and then we're going to have our offset from there. So we can reset our Z point for our position number one. So I'm going to just delete this. All right, so now we're going to go through. So we're going to go step mode, 
shift forward. So we're going to run through all these, which creates our offsets right away. Go home, go to label one, and it goes to position one right here. So notice how we're 30 millimeters above. So what we're going to do is we're going to click our item and we're going to go down our 30 millimeters. Then we're going to go shift touch up. Then it's going to say subtract offset from current position. Go yes. So now we're at that position. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go forward again. So still on step mode. Shift forward goes down and we're going to bring this down that negative 30 and now we're going to go shift touch up so it says subtract offset from the current position and we're going to go yes okay so now that we're in these positions let's go back up to the top and we're going to hit enter turn off the point registers and then we're going to run this goes down to the top 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 and then top again so there we go. And let's uh, just hit the home position, the jump label two. We're going to insert another line. And then we're going to do the home at move point, joint, and we're going to go position register number one. And the home view. Okay, so let's run this again, see what it looks like. And then it should be good for the orange. And then back up to the top. There we go. So now we have our orange. So we modified our position registers to go both in the X and Z coordinates.